Uh, as one might be able to tell, there's a lot of difference here um, since the last video I took. Um, namely the uh, Poison Spider Brawler uh, stubby bumper there that's replaced the shitty built piece of shit that I used to have on the front of it. Um, so, uh, the Warren M8000 winch uh, I've had on there for, for over a year now. Uh, out of the synthetic winch line, uh, the Spider line from, uh, from Warren. Uh, as far as suspension goes, it's pretty much remained the same. At one point, uh, I had the undercover fab, uh, flat belly on it, but I'm back to the stock shovel. Um, it, uh, the dynamics of the low pro mount uh, and everything else, um, it worked and it worked well. It uh, unfortunately it pushed everything up so high though that it uh, caused a really bad driveline vibe in the rear. So um, I think with the initial, uh, rather with the addition of a body lift and a motor mount lift, uh, I would have been able to cure that. But unfortunately, without that, there's really no way to cure it. So so I got rid of that. Um, I think probably in the next year here I'll go to the Savvy Under Armour um, and do a 1 inch body lift and probably move my springs down to 3 inch springs so I can compensate and keep my height roughly where it's at right now. Um, I honestly don't remember verbatim because uh, it's been so damn long since I've done that other video but uh, if I haven't shown this in it already then there you go I've got the Savvy uh, gas tank skid on there now. Um, as well as uh, some other little doodads here and there, but uh, otherwise it's pretty much the same. Uh, rear bumper is still a savvy rear bumper. Uh, I've recoated the corners uh, a few times. There's quite a few spider webs on it right now. I don't know why. I guess they're taking a liking to it, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot that's changed, but there has been some addition. Uh, the Highline hood louvers I've got on there um, wouldn't change those for anything. Uh, I initially was looking at the Poison Spider ones, but then they went ahead and made the logo on the top of it really, really large, and my vehicle's not a billboard, so I didn't feel like going that route. Um, I went ahead and added some 10 degree bends into my tie rod and drag link um, because initially at uh, full lock. Uh, the tie rod especially was hitting right about uh, right about there. Uh, it's dirty as hell right now, so you can't really tell. But uh, so I fixed that, uh, or rather staved that off, and um, with the 10 degree bends uh, on either side, and uh, it's really made a big difference there. Um, I've added a uh, Champion aluminum radiator, which uh, we'll see here. This is going to be difficult to do with one hand. Ah, shit. It's going to be really difficult to do with one hand. Hold on. There we go. So, that's kind of, again, old news there, the uh, radiator is. And, uh, I do need to do the rear main seal as it's not leaking really badly at the moment, but it's leaking enough that it's something that I notice. So. That's about it. A whole lot else has changed at this point. So, so, for now I reckon, as far as the update goes, we'll be going up to the Sierras and wheeling her up around, uh, close to the Rubicon this coming weekend. So, camping and whatnot out there. So, Looking forward to it. That's all.